What's in the box? In the box. What's in the box? I just got. Well, I technically got this earlier today, and yes, I opened it because it's a very nondescript box, and I didn't quite know who it was from because I didn't recognize the writing or the name on the back. This is from a lovely lady. It's a rack. Oh, I should say, hello, my angels and devils, and all who may wander here. It is Amanda Christina of Heavenly Imaginings. And I got a surprise rack and I feel so blessed and so lucky. This is this was such a lovely surprise on a day where my insomnia had been so crazy. I think I got this at about 9.30 in the morning and I hadn't actually been to bed yet. So it was really nice to get. I had been reading and binge watching Gossip Girl because I couldn't sleep. And look at this beautiful card that is hand-coloured and handmade. And it just says, um, just a little rack to say thank you for the gorgeous Love Day mail. Love your videos and always look forward to them. Hope you find these goodies useful. And then just the usual, if, if you don't, if not, you're more than welcome to pass them along. Um, sending lots of love, Kylie, who is Crafty Kylie. And you will see her a lot in the comments on my YouTube. She is a wonderfully supportive, crafty friend. And she won one of my giveaways. And because she is so supportive, I have been trying to get into the habit of sending a little bit more happy mail this year. And I had wanted to send her a love day thing. So her winning one of my giveaways kind of worked out because then I had her address to also send her a little bit of love day mail. I still owe her an email, actually. So she sent me this beautiful package. It was just a pleasure to open. And I put everything back pretty much how I got it, except for these two were loose in the in the pack and I just pop them in with the doilies and stuff and like look lots of tissue paper she knows me well so this is what I got I'm so thank you so much Kylie I really I, honestly I get so blown away when people think to send me something or to do something nice for me because it especially when it's unexpected um this was the only mail I got today so this was such a lovely surprise because usually the only mail I get is stuff I've bought for myself or bought for projects so um it's really nice just to have a little bit of happy happy mail and I love these I love these little this little bow paper clip oh I've got to show you in the frame. I'm trying to, so it's all sparkly. I love sparkly things. And I have a ton of these flowers because I often get these cheap on eBay. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that is such a cool idea. So I may have to borrow this idea because it is adorable. A little flower paper clip. And I have actually been. I actually need doilies for a for Mary's wedding album. Actually, is one of the reasons I wanted some. So this is just perfect. It's so vintage and lovely that it will look beautiful. And then there's some tiny a tiny circle doily. There's some really sweet little hearts. And I have I think I mentioned once. <coughs> excuse me. I have jumbo and I mean jumbo gold and silver doilies, but I didn't have any small ones. Well, now thanks to Kylie, I have a couple of sizes of gold and silver doilies. And these are just beautiful. Look at, these will be beautiful to work with whoever I use them for. I'm just so blown away. Like, And this is just, this would have been a lovely surprise. But I got a whole little box overflowing with goodies. So I'm going to pop them to one side. And I'll do this one next. Um, like... <laughs> I just get so overwhelmed. I don't know if anyone's like that, like when people do lovely things for you. Like you get used to doing lovely things for other people and sometimes you don't always, it's not that you have to get it back because I never give to receive. I don't think like that. That's just not how I, I was raised or grew up. But it's just, sometimes it's just so overwhelming. It's like, oh, that is so nice. And to hear that, you know, people look forward to your videos and stuff because sometimes you do doubt that. Like I know I don't edit. I don't have fancy skills that make my videos these whiz-bang things. But what I really like about that is that it allows me to connect to people on a real level. And I think that's also important. Like you're not going to get polished perfection from me. And even if I could edit, I wouldn't edit out all the mistakes because to me that would feel like a mistake. So she sent me some ball chain, <laughs> which I'm not going to take out. Some of these little hook clips, which are really cute and I think would make nice, not too big chunky charms, like nice little dangles or, yeah, just to hang on things. They're really cute. I haven't played with these before, but they look like they'll be some fun to play with. These really lovely metal butterflies, which are just with gems. They're just gorgeous. And a mix of charms, which are teapot charms, bows, flowers, and pine cones. So I'm hoping... 
they're not too glary <laughs> but that was a lovely little mix so I'm just popping that to one side again then we have I know <laughs> it's like the never-ending parcel I was so blown away and like She's like me, how, how she managed to cram so much into such a small little box. And I love this box because this box is perfect to do a bit of mail art in. Um, so this is a gorgeous gold bulldog clip. And at the back of this pile we have some really nice big and um, manila tags. You can never have too many manila tags. I have some around here somewhere in a couple of sizes, but <laughs> I haven't really been on a tag kick lately. And I was thinking, I need to get back into making some more tags. So there's two different sizes there, which are lovely. And then there's these little tiny just craft tags, which are so perfect for the wedding album I'm working on. It's not even funny because craft is what I am using as the base for that. Then there are these really gorgeous definition tags. Like they look like dictionary has been put on them, but they're actually printed that way. That is so cool. Um, this really cute, and I've got to remember to get, to find where my eyelet setter is. Um, oops, I just took this apart. <laughs> Loops, sorry Carly, that was me. Um, it just came undone, but I will fix that because it's easy enough to fix. Um, but yes, so like I need to do like things like this with my little envelopes that I make and stuff, but I really love that. And the gold spot is just gorgeous. Now I saw these and I flipped because I have been starting to slowly collect stuff for Mary's wedding album and Damask was one of the types of prints she had and I saw these tags and I just thought oh my god these are perfect because I'm doing that craft look with a lot of sort of vintage papers and a little bit of the black in there this is just going to be absolutely gorgeous and I can stamp on them or I can leave them blank for Mary to use as journaling tags so I really love that that was just such a perfect like I looked at stuff in this and I'm just like wow this is just so much I'm so overwhelmed with the kindness and just how lovely everything was packaged like it's just it, it, it's really sweetly packaged and all the packaging has been left so that I can reuse the packaging as well so if things are in little bags the bags are not sealed so I can then go ahead and reuse that packaging which is so thoughtful and such a good idea I never thought to really do that I sort of think to get everything packaged up nicely I don't really think about necessarily the reusability so that just came in a nice little pile like that that's another pile of stuff then we have yeah I know another bag and this has some project lifestyle cards in it and these are gorgeous like totally gorgeous like they're all um there's like there's gold foiling like this butterfly with dream big I love this so much butterflies are such a huge symbol on my life but look at this also my favorites the back of that is just beautiful these memories will be treasured forever. Look at how gorgeous that is. Um, my nana used to grow roses in her garden, so this kind of reminds those roses remind me of her. And then there's that sort of nice lace print, this beautiful sort of damask um, in gold leaf with just oh, gold foil with the grid. Love this. <laughs> like these are just really nice cards. Grateful remember with the ombre in the middle I'm loving this and I'm loving the pink um life is beautiful with the butterflies like how would you choose these I would have to slip these into pockets because I couldn't choose you are so loved and look at that's got the mermaid print sort of and beautiful you are fabulous don't forget it I love that so, sorry poet spice you've got me I, I, I watched a lot of your videos last year where you kept saying fabulous and I just kind of picked it up. Don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. Now, if there's ever, ever a message, everyone should have hit home. It's that you and me. Some just polka dots and just a whatsy one. Let us keep your greatest moments, keep our greatest moments close to our heart. Oops. <laughs> I almost said that one completely wrong. Um, just some notes and with the butterflies. Gee, these are pretty. You make life so good. Yes, you do. Be brave with your life. I try. <laughs> I need to be a bit more braver, I think, at times. Um, there's this. This one and then it says, so very happy and because and 
whatever makes you smile, keep it. Well, this certainly made me smile. This was such an unexpected and lovely surprise today. And then in this, there are two, these bows are just gorgeous. And I am currently working on my next Gorgeous Girls project for the 8th um, for the Gorgeous Girls collaboration I'm a part of. And these bows are just beautiful. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to make sure I get a bow or two in this project because... They are just gorgeous. And they've got the little sticky backs on them already, which is really cool. So that's that little package. There's just two two or three more things to show you. Um, I know this is a bit of a long video, but there's a lot in here, honestly. Now, this kind of just blew me away. This was so sweet. So I've got this little bag, and I can stencil on it or do anything with that. That's really cool. And then you pull it out. And inside, hiding inside that little bag is another little bag. And... A Sizzix bow dye. How sweet is that? Like that, that is so lovely. I am such a dye addict and this will probably get a lot, a lot of good use um, because I, I did make some paper bows out of my Place We Shall Not Names bow dye for Christmas. They just never got sent out. But this will be fun because this is, I think, a size and slight shape difference to what I already have. But also if you use like the way this is, let me show you. Like, the way this bit is, you could easily use those as flower petals. I was looking at that just then thinking flower petals or, like, you could just put your piece of paper here and just have it cut your flag bit. But, yeah, like, there's things, other things you could do with it. So we'll just pop this one over here. Just a couple more to go. There is this amazing, amazing selection of paper bags. And one thing I can't find, which I bought last year, was I bought a bunch of wedding cake bags and I need to get another packet because you get like oh actually I need to get a couple of packets because you get like 50 for two dollars but jolly ollies I haven't seen them in there because I haven't been to the other one but yeah I I don't know where everything is in the newer jolly ollies so we have some of these little um smaller paper bags I had quite a collection of these it's starting to dwindle um I got like 20 10 or 20 in a branded pack for a dollar US some years ago so I've been using those these little white ones which are like the coin envelope type ones some little and these are going to be so good like some of these will get used in my current gorgeous girls project which is really cool because it, it's always handy when something turns up and you're like oh, I can actually use that um, in a current project I don't just have to put it away and hoard it there's these really nice sized ones then there's the, the gorgeous gold dot treat bags. They are beautiful. I love those. And then I saw these and I freaked. <laughs> I flipped out because, again, as I said, I've been looking for things for Miri's album and I have to figure out a way to, to use these in her, in her album somehow because these are just beautiful and they're that sort of damn mask print and I flipped. I will admit it. I flipped over a lot of things in this parcel. I got very excited because it is such a, it was such a lovely surprise. And then we have these bigger paper bags. But not only was it a lovely surprise, it was just there's so many useful things. Like it's just my brain just goes into overdrive when I get something so special and just so thoughtful. And obviously, Kylie, I can tell you watch my videos and listen to some of the things I say because there are things in here that, yeah, there are some things in here that I do not have. I do not have any of the, what's it, the, what are they called? People use them for IC cards. You can use them for recipe cards. I cannot think. We used to use them in debating club. You cut them in half. You punch a hole in the centre, cut them in half so you could thumb through them quicker. Um, palm cards is what we call them here I think but they have uh, they have a whole lot of different names so there's a whole heap of these as well and this is everything like look at how much she crammed in to this one little box I just I'm so blown away thank you from the bottom of my heart Kylie it totally means the world to me I may not sound the best at the moment or as excuse me upbeat or rah, 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 <laughs> but I really really I'm so honestly blown away and touched by this parcel was just beautiful it came at such a good time and it will get used um you'll get to see some of it in Mary's album when I complete it after she receives it of course um and I will be making use of some of this stuff because it's just too beautiful not to 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little random act of kindness. Well, it's not so little to me. This is to me this is huge. Um, this act of kindness from Kylie. You will see her in my comments as Crafty Kylie. She is a wonderful lady. No, she doesn't make videos, unfortunately, but she is lovely and I'm so grateful to have her as part of the community on my channel. I will talk to you all soon, my angels and devils. In the meantime, please remember, you are amazing. You are incredible. And yes, truly, most importantly of all, I do believe this, you really, really do matter. Bye!